Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to see iOS 16 on iPhone XR. So we are going to see the complete overhaul to the lock screen and few minor changes to the messages app. So this is a developer beta so you need a beta profile to install this. So right now I am installing with the developer beta and I am doing it on my iPhone XR. So it has a 812 Bionic chip inside. So let's see like why uh, I chose this phone to install this particular beta. So as Apple says personal is powerful on their iOS 16 home page. So this is how the lock screen of iOS 15 looked like. So it's plain Jane so there is no much uh, changes with the home screen. So the lock screen has got the greatest upgrade since the first iOS release I would say. And here we have a personalizable lock screen. So let me go to the next screen and we can customize this. We can add different widgets and we can also change the color of the font and the widgets over there so uh, like we cannot do it individually so it will change for the entire thing so there is different types of font and font color so i can choose a different uh, color palette over here and i can also choose this uh, different rgb uh, kind of colors and also i can adjust the opacity uh, of this and also change the font style so of the numbers over there so as you can see it's something like a stencil kind of a font over there and i can set up this so this is a great new feature so maybe the next iphone 14 it would have uh, always on display and this would come in uh, real handy so you can have all your uh, widgets even uh, if your screen is locked so with the uh, variable refresh rate so it would come in handy and again like you have a ton of customizable options over there so different wallpapers and you can also make a gradient so there were some applications which could do this uh, before so uh, different gradients we can set and there is uh, multiple widgets which are available so right now only the apple made ones are there so eventually we'll get the third party uh, widget so just how we got the widgets for the home screen so now we have it for the lock screen also but it is just uh, one line so you cannot add a complete uh, page of widgets so with uh, one line like you can add different widgets so i think a big one and another two small widgets we can add and again the uh, gradient so as you can notice like there is a different tone gradient that is available and i can choose uh, anything from here and now let me add up some other home screen so uh, there is a ton of customizable options so this is the uh, great important feature that was released with iOS 16 so you get this uh, like you can add your own uh, photos for your wallpaper and the font it uh, I mean the font color so it adjusts to the wallpaper uh, based color so something like material U that we saw with the Android 12 last year and we can also adjust these uh, particular uh, perspective zoom and other things also apple introduced this focus mode with ios 15 so with ios 16 right now we can change uh, different lock screen for different focus modes so not just the home screen so even the lock screen can be customized depending on your focus mode that you set up so this home screen we earlier had but the lock screen customization so that is completely new and we can have a personalized uh, one so for work we can have a, a different lock screen and the widgets that show up in the lock screen during your uh, work mode so that could be different and uh, like if you are uh, at home and if you want a personal home screen and a lock screen to go along with that so you can do that now and the next biggest feature that i am uh, really interested is in the messaging app so twitter still doesn't have a edit button but imessage right now has a edit button here so i can click on edit and i can correct any mistakes or something like that so i can just add up new things and once it is sent it shows it is edited so that is uh, really good and I can uh, quickly uh, correct the typos or if I want to completely erase it I can just do that uh, with the undo button and you get this subtle message over there like saying I deleted the message. Another cool intelligence feature is uh, this AI uh, subject capture so I can go into any image and I can capture this particular subject so I can uh, take it out from the background so I have just taken the subject out of there and I can copy it to email or messages so anywhere so I, I am pasting it right here boom I have the subject 
just uh, precisely cut and pasted right into my message you also have other features to share so for example if you have a shared library with your uh, family members so once you capture some photos so it directly goes into their shared album so if you are using that iCloud shared uh, library so right now I am not using it so uh, I may not be able to show it to you so that's a great feature like if uh, you, you, are, you want to share some photos with your family or friends if you are on a vacation and everything it uh, it automatically it will be updated into their album so right now I'm not using it so I won't be able to show that to you another great feature is auto punctuation for your dictation let's see hey how are you doing I found this new BMW M5 it's cool so that was a cool party trick Another cool feature that I would really love to use is live text from video. So earlier we got live text from photos again with the A12 and above chips. So right now with the A12 and above chips we are getting live text from video. So if you capture a video of a code or something like that so it's really easy to capture a video than a photo and from video we can uh, uh, copy this particular code and uh, right now let me see so I can copy this particular code and I can uh, put it in my editor and uh, do that so it's really a cool feature another great new feature is iOS notification so it has been uh, designed from ground up so it starts rolling down from bottom of the screen not top of the screen so it's not up to you for your wallpaper and it's also easily reachable so with uh, larger phones so phones are getting larger and larger so it's easily reachable from the bottom of your uh, screen so that's really great and the notification grouping that we saw with the previous uh, ios so that is still there and you can uh, reduce all the notifications down or you can dismiss it by swiping it towards the left so that's uh, really great and again the notification center so that also it starts from the bottom of screen so as you can notice it starts from the bottom of the screen and all your notifications it it's not uh, up to you like it was before so that's really great then there is some subtle improvement to the home application so it even uh, gets the matter compatibility which is really great and it has uh, multiple potential features in the future and uh, if you are into the ecosystem if you are using HomePod and uh, different Apple TV and uh, other connected devices that work well with the Apple ecosystem so you can get uh, uh, multiple benefits with this home application and with the matter compatibility it will take it even higher and there are some subtle improvements to the health application so right now with the fitness application you can see the steps tracking and everything even without an apple watch so that is a good thing and there are some uh, new and improved health features with the tracking of food and other substances and another key feature is passkey so it introduces a secure and easier way to sign in so there is no more remembering of uh, passwords so it's really great then we get a complete overhaul for the family sharing feature so you can add kids and you can set up your kids iphone so uh, there is a more intuitive way to do all of that and also the health app settings with the elder elderly parents so that uh, that can also be useful and there is a complete overhaul for the Apple CarPlay so it covers the entire screens of your uh, latest cars so is this a new Apple car they are working on so maybe and there is some subtle features so uh, as you can notice if you click on the three dots or the dots you get the search so that is really intuitive and the performance is really great there is no uh, degradation of performance so this is the a12 bionic chip so right now we are having the a15 so it's a three generation lower chip but still there is no degradation in performance with the uh, latest ios 16 software so let's compare the geekbench results so right now this is running on ios 15 and the geekbench scores are here uh, around 1100 and 2600 with the ios 15 and with ios 16 the scores are slightly low maybe it is because the first beta we got around 1100 and 2500 compared to the uh, 2600 with the ios 15 so it might improve with the next generation next betas and uh, the compatibility it starts from i uh, the iphone 8 the iphone 7 it 
it uh, doesn't support the iOS 16. So iPhone 8 and above, it supports iOS 16. So that is good. So the 6s, the first generation SC, and even the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, they don't support the iOS 16. And another uh, thing that you notice here is the A12 Bionic chip is required for all the AI features like the live text. So you need an iPhone XS or XR and above to uh, have all the features of iOS 16. So in next video, we're going to see iPadOS 16 and macOS Ventura. So subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace.